a person sends a selfie to someone. The person informs her hopes of hearing back from him on the phone. Meanwhile, a young man receives the message and tells the person who just sent him the picture that she's very hot. The young man says that she's the sexiest woman he has even seen. The person tells the young man that he knows what to do if he wants more. Meanwhile, a blonde young woman listens to the whole thing. The young man asks when he's going to be able to see her. The person informs the young man that he only needs to send the money. The young man says that he's going to send her the money very soon and asks for a very sensual video before he goes to the bank to send the money. The person records a video and sends it to the young man. This person promises the young man that she's going to visit him the next day if he sends the money. The young man looks over the moon after receiving the sexy video. Suddenly, the nosy young woman approaches and takes his mobile phone from his hands. The young man asks what's wrong with her. She says that's enough. She asks what he thinks he's doing. The young man asks the young lass to follow him to the bank so he can deposit the money. The young lass tells Sebastian that what he's doing is too dangerous. She says that the woman could be lying to him. Sebastian shows a picture of the woman to the young lass on his phone and says that he needs to trust her because she has an angel-like face. The young woman says that she's only trying to protect him and that she loves him. Still deluded, young Sebastian ignores the young lass advice and says that that woman is the one. The young lady tells Sebastian that he should listen to the people who really love him. Sebastian smiles, sarcastically. Meanwhile, the person with whom Sebastian is in love removes his wig and says that that stupid young man is going to be very surprised. A couple of days later, Sebastian's friend decides to investigate. She listens to a person with a woman's voice trying to scam someone. She then sees a man wearing lipstick leaving the location. Later, the young woman sees Sebastian carrying a flower bouquet in the street. She asks where he's going. He says that he's very excited because he's going to meet the love of his life in 10 minutes. His friend asks if he's really serious about that. She says that he promised her that they were going to the cinema. He says that they can go out another day as good friends. Angry, the young woman says that he can't just leave a long-time friend like that for someone he doesn't even know. She says that she saw that woman trying to scam someone else. She warns him about the scam and tells him to just forget about it. Sebastian asks why she's telling him that one day he's going to meet the love of his life. She says that she cares about him. He says that she must be jealous that he finally found someone. He says that he doesn't fancy her or anything. The blonde young woman, disappointed, tells the man to go ahead then. She says that he's going to regret that decision forever. Sebastian leaves to meet the love of his life. His blonde friend decides to call someone. Minutes later, Sebastian spots Deborah, the one, standing on the pavement. He calls her name and says that he wants to see that lovely face in real life, the face that makes his dream come true. She signals to him to follow her. After following Deborah for a couple of minutes, the young man shouts her name and says that he can't wait anymore. Deborah stops, and a man wearing a balaclava carefully approaches the young man from behind. Deborah takes out her wig and turns around. The balaclava man covers the young man's face, and Deborah says that he's going to get what he wants. The two criminals carry Sebastian, now unconscious. Later, Sebastian is lying on his knees with his hands tied. He shouts, begging the criminals to release him because they've got all they want. Deborah approaches, holding a plank, and says that he wants to know where he found that amount of money. The young man says that the money belongs to him. He says that he earned it by working very hard. 
Deborah, the criminal, says that he doesn't believe him and orders the young man to tell him immediately. He says that he's sure that his parents are going to pay a lot to rescue him and tries to hit the young man with the plank. The young man begs Deborah to don't hit him. Suddenly, someone knocks on the front door. Angry, the criminal decides to open the door. He opens the door and a policeman surprises him. The young blonde woman points to the criminal and tells the officer that he's the kidnapper. The officer takes the criminal into custody. The blonde young woman unties Sebastian. Later, Sebastian says that she was right about him. He says that he's a moron himself. He says that he's very sorry for being so rude to her. He puts his hands on her hair. The blonde young woman says that it doesn't matter anymore because he's safe. 